Hi guys, I'm Nemanja Sekulic and welcome to this Photoshop tutorial. Today I will show you how to make this interesting photo manipulation, showing me holding a big and heavy Fujifilm camera, mirrorless camera that is opposite from reality. In reality they are really small and really light. Today I will show you how to extract the model and the camera from the background, how to put the camera in a model's hand and how to make models head a little bit bigger and merge everything together in one fun and creative photo manipulation. So let's start. For this tutorial we will need these three images. The camera, the background, I shoot it in France and myself, I shoot it myself in the studio. And of course we need to extract the model and the camera and put everything here on the background. Okay, first I will start extracting the model myself and I will do that pretty easily with quick selection tool. It's here. Just make it a little bigger. Let's zoom it a little bit and just slowly go on the parts I want to keep. I will need smaller brush here. Okay. If happens something like this, just hold Alt or Option key and deselect the parts that you don't need to be in your selection. Just play with with that and you will do the perfect selection. Okay, let's go. Let's deselect this all here okay great and now need to select the pants and the leg here this is pretty boring process but we need we need to do it and if you do it good then you will have less problem later okay the shoes and now we need to deselect all of this. I'm holding Alt or Option key, Alt on the PC, Option on the Mac and just slowly dragging my mouse. Actually I don't using a mouse, I'm using a Wacom Intus Pro tablet but I'm using a pen actually. Pen it's much much better for me because it's much more natural feeling like drawing. All right. Let's add selection here and let's go here and select this. And I will change for magic wand here. Press and hold Alt and deselect this part here. OK. And back to quick selection and just add this part here. All right. And now what we need to do is just to press the mask button here. All right. Now I'm selected out of a background and uh, let's do the same with the camera. We can use a pen tool or a quick selection tool or lasso tool, anything you want, anything that works for you. I will use quick selection tool. Just quickly select parts that I want to stay. All right, that's, that's basically it. Let me see. Nice, and go here on the mask again and just press the button. All right, now we have a camera and myself extracted from the background. And let's just drag and drop to our background here. This is me. And let's bring the camera. Okay, I will rotate a camera and myself horizontally, flip horizontally. For that, I will use Control Command T just uh, right click and flip horizontally that's for the camera press ok and for myself flip horizontally and press ok that's good i like the size of the camera but i'm too big for this camera i want to make myself a little bit smaller uh, first what uh, i want to do because let me check if i like the selection myself here Oops, that's camera uh, it's pretty much okay maybe this this part I need to clean it if I want to uh, refine the selection just 
click on a mask, use a brush, opacity around 80% and with the black, black brush just paint and refine the selection a little bit. So that's pretty much okay. Maybe to with the white brush to bring back some parts. Okay, and let me see the other parts. For the sake of this tutorial, it's pretty much good. Yeah, actually, it's perfect. All right, and because I like the selection, I will get rid of this mask. Just right click and say apply layer mask and then I have only I'll show you only myself here without the mask I can move and shrink much easier all right let's get rid of this white layer we don't need it and now I will try to make myself smaller control command T and just make myself a little bit smaller like I'm here in this environment in real size maybe something something like so let me let me see um, okay and now let's do the same with the camera let's see quick click selection that's actually the part of the camera but we can get rid of this too because no one will notice that this is actually the part of the camera okay and I think everything else it's pretty much okay yes it is let's right click and say apply layer mask and now let's move this let's name first layers model camera all right Let's bring the camera below the model layer and position it somewhere here. Mm, I think the camera is a little bit too big. Let's control T or command T on the Mac, make it a little bit smaller and maybe rotate it a little bit and position it so it fits here better. You see, yeah, maybe it's even too big. Yeah, I need to to rotate it to match these two lines, my face and the camera screen, because I lean my face on the camera actually, something like so, and bring it up like so. And let me see the size of the camera. Ah, it's pretty much okay. I can make it a little bit bigger or smaller it's a personal preference but let's make just a little bit bigger like so and then nudge this to fit in my hands perfectly like so maybe maybe just a little bit bigger I don't know oh, you can play with that like like so maybe yeah yeah that's good all right the next thing I want to do uh, let's move the camera and myself a little bit to the left maybe here somewhere on one third of the image okay and maybe yeah that's good and next thing what I want to do I want to uh, make my head bigger for that I will use model layer select the lasso tool here and just go around my neck and head and press control or command J and I will make duplicate of my selection in this case my head and just press command or control T and by holding a shift just make a head a little bit bigger that's for comedy effect let me see now we need to position it somewhere here for example 
Alright, let me see. It's not so bad. Maybe you can emphasize this and make it even bigger. That's personal preference. And now we will make a layer mask here and delete with the black brush, delete everything that is not necessary to be an image. Alright, let me let me see. It's not so bad, but it's not so good either. Let's delete everything from here. Like so. And make brush hardness at 0% and just paint like so. Yeah. Bring back some details. And opacity around maybe 20%, 25 and just paint here. Let me see. Yeah, that's much better. Okay. And now let's make some adjustments here. First, what I want to do is to clean uh, this left arm a little bit. Go here on the model and make layer mask. And now I want to load the camera selection. Uh, just hold the control command key and click on the layer and you will load the camera selection. And now I will use the black brush and just paint inside the selection and that's it. And the next thing I want to fill this gap here, I will go here with the model and with the stamp tool, just stamp some parts. I will use the hardness at 0%. All right. Let's make something like so and again load the selection and erase. Sorry. I need to be a little bit more careful here. Erase this and let me see. That's good. That's nice. Now what we need to do is to cover the LCD screen of the camera to be more darker. Go to the camera, new layer and with the black brush and maybe 50% opacity just paint with the black not with the white. Okay, Just paint like so and because we can paint all over it we will clip this layer to affect only the camera layer. Just hold Control, uh, sorry, Alt or Option key and click between the layers and now this layer is clipped only to the camera. You see? Okay, now let's let's make it darker and with the layer mask let's delete the parts that we don't want to be visible and bring back some parts that I deleted by mistake. Alright, that's not so bad all. Let me see. Yeah, that's much better. We can make some other adjustments here. You see the bottom part of the camera. It's not so good selected and now I will refine it. Uh, let me see if that's the camera. Yeah, I think it's the camera. Just layer mask on the camera and just... Oh, no, no, no. It is good. It's the problem in a model. We need to, let me see, yeah, it's the problem in this selection. We just need to expand the selection a little bit with the white brush and on the model layer mask just paint here, like so. And it's much better. Alright, we can, we can now check the image. Great. The next step will be to make a shadow and to glue myself to the street here. But before that, let's organize this a little bit. This is the background. And this too, it's camera. Let's select both. Control Command G to make a group and name it camera. And this is, let me see, yeah, this is all model. Control Command G, model. And let's go inside this and make this name this big head. Okay. And now we want to make shadow here below the 
model layer. Uh, if you want to make a layer below some layer, just hold Control Command key and press a new layer. And you have a new layer. Let's name it Shadow. And now let's play with the shadow part. Let's use a black brush and first make a contact shadow. Mm, maybe hardness. Well, let let's be around 29, 30 percent. And just make contact shadow here. Okay, something like like so. All right. Just a small contact shadow, and here too, same thing. To match. I'm now holding shift and clicking to make a straight line like this. Click, sorry, click, hold shift and click, and you will make straight lines. All right, let's now paint here, so, okay, let me see, yeah, that's nice contact shadow, and this is, let's name shadow one, and another layer, shadow number two, shadow number two will be a bigger shadow from ambient light here. Uh, let me see. Let's first see uh, the direction of the light. It's somewhere from behind and from uh, this side of the image. Okay, uh, let's make another layer just for showing the shadow. It's coming from uh, shadow. Sorry, the light is coming from here and from here. And because this is this street, it's practically in in a big shadow. We have only the light that is bouncing from the sun from the building uh, across the street in in this side here. Okay, and now we will make a soft shadow here below him, and it will go somewhere in this direction. Okay, right. Let's get rid of this layer. And this is the second shadow, and now we will paint with maybe mm, 50 opacity, 50% 50 opacity, and 0% hardness brush, and just paint like so. And this is the leg, and again, this is this part here. Okay, we will refine this and the knee and everything else here okay and like so let's make 100 percent the best it's easier to change the opacity later all right this is me holding camera and it's a big camera here blah 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 something like that in my head all right and let's see something here let's make now a layer mask and delete the parts of the shadow that we actually don't need it because we don't need so harsh shadow and so so dark let's make 50 percent opacity brush and just with white sorry with the black paint on the mask and erase everything from here and now let's change the opacity to 20% I'm using a quick way to change the opacity just press number on the keyboard 5 is for 50% 2 for 20 and so on so on if you want to uh, make 25 just press 2 and a 5 or 5 0 and a 5 or 10 it's 1 and you understand it okay let's Press number two on a keyboard and that's 20% opacity brush and just delete, delete this. That's nice. And now 
lower the global opacity like so let me see like so it's not so bad at all all right and make another shadow another layer for shadow uh, it's number three and just with 10% opacity paint all over it here oh, it's too much but now we can lower the opacity let me see yeah that's that's nice all right I will refine this shadow just a little bit more I want to add a shadow here a little bit and let's unzoom it and that's that's okay 35% opacity it's it's pretty much good let me see this shadow number two maybe around around 35 30, 35 it's good let me see and the contact shadow yeah we can make the contrast shadow maybe 90 percent opacity oops yeah that's good all right now let's collapse this and this and let's see what other stuff we need to do we need to make some uh, dodge and burning on the image to make some shadow here and maybe on the face of a model on the lower part of the camera because it's too bright and it's too bright because we had i will show you here uh, we have white below the camera and the white reflect the lights and this is why why here it's so bright but we will correct this let's make now global uh, dodge and burning layers you can do that in several different ways for this i using curve tools curve uh, adjustment layers uh, one is for dodge and let's duplicate it and another it's for burn this is d for dodge and b for burn and let's invert layer masks and put them both in a group name this group dodge and burn all right but before we go on dodging and burning let's make this contact shadow here go to the camera and put another layer name it shadow this is shadow from the uh, fingers here something like so and here too all right and let's lower the the opacity and make a mask 20% opacity brush and let's erase because here the shadow is a little bit brighter because the hand is uh, higher than the palm than the thumb here okay that's not so bad at all it's not practically visible but it's a small detail now let's go to dodge and burn Let's go on a burn layer and make this part just a little bit darker. Let's use a white brush, 5%, 0.5, opacity brush and hardness all the way to zero. All right, and now let's start burning something here, just a little bit. All right, if you cannot see, there is a difference. It's small, but but I need it. All right, let's now make this camera part darker. Let's first select the camera, like so, and then go to burn, and maybe with 10% opacity, just burn this a little bit, and this part too. 
because we don't want this to be so bright. Alright, like so. Let me see. Uh, before and after. Nice. That's nice. Alright, let's now go to the dodge. 5% opacity and dodge some parts of the or maybe 3% opacity some parts of the skin here like so you need to take care of some you need to think uh, the light direction here and just patiently paint over the parts you want to be a lighter this part this part okay this part here maybe and pants this is just the global dodging Okay, this here will be a little shadow, small amount, that's too much, let's pay it out, okay, and now let's paint some parts here on the building. First, let's make 10% and just paint here, I will explain you why I'm doing this in a second just to finish painting alright we make a fake shadow here because we want to change the light direction to make impression that light is actually coming from here we will have some shadow here and same on the windows this part will be a little bit lighter. Now let's make it a little bit lighter. And this part here will be a little bit darker. 5%. Okay, and this part will be a little bit lighter. Like this part here too. But this part here need a little bit shadow and so on and so on but we will do it only on the big things like this will be brighter and this will be a darker and the plan here this will be sorry this will be brighter paint some light here all right and this part will be a little bit darker this is just a subtle change not so dramatic but it will be visible after I finish with that you will see and this part it's a little bit brighter just paint some light here all right and here too okay I'm holding shift and going up and down okay and same here shift up and down for dodge like so all right let me see and Let's dodge this part too. Okay, almost finished. And burn this part of the... I don't know the English word for this, but the right part of this object. Okay, and let me see. 
dodge and burn before and after before and after you see there is pretty big difference all right let's close this and this and this and let's see what still we need to do on this image maybe we can dodge the back side of the model here let's go on the model and control click to load the selection and by holding control and shift click on the big head here layer and add that selection too but we have this selection that oops that i don't like it now i will go to the quick selection tool and just with 80 or so percent opacity and hard brush just erase this let's load this selection and invert it and just paint with the black here okay now let's get out of the quick mask and now we have our selection here great go to dodge and burn and go to dodge with 5% opacity black sorry white brush and really soft just paint on this side here on the back side like so all right and let's make me a little bit more prettier <laughs> just for fun all right and the camera I want this part a little bit darker I just deselect uh, deselect myself and now I can paint, paint everywhere let's make this just a little bit darker like so and maybe this part here too and this part here just a little bit darker this highlights only all right let me see i think we are done with this now we can go and play with color correction just let me see once again before and after before and after yeah and we can make one uh, adjustment here on the background go on the curves and just make a little bit brighter and go to the gradient tool here and with Let's first invert the layer mask with control I and just paint with the white here. Just make impression that the light is coming from behind me and across the street. Something like that. Maybe lower the opacity or we can do it here. This is just small, different. Yeah and we can use uh, black brush and paint on this layer mask with 0% uh, hardness and maybe 20% opacity and with the black brush and paint out this lower part okay let me see before and after before and after just a subtle difference okay nice now we can add another curves layer here and make just a little bit contrast of the whole background let me unzoom it something like so and maybe make a background just for a touch uh, warmer like so it's really really small amount all right let's see before and after before and after that's great now we can close all groups here go on the top and merge all layers together we can do this with uh, shift control alt e or on a mac shift command option e and now what i like to do first i go to the filters and nick color fx pro it's a free filter from google you can download it and use it it's really really good and i use this pro contrast here 
OK. And use this dynamic contour slider. OK, just more correction. Mm, that's good. Let's compare before and after. Yeah, it's really small but effective difference. OK, that's one, one thing. And next thing I want to duplicate this with Control Command J and go to the filters and camera row filter. And now let's play here with uh, some some things dehaze. Just touch, see difference. Just dehaze maybe eight or nine. Let's go here to the split toning and warm the image a little bit, warm the highlights, see, all right, and let's make shadows a little bit colder, this is too much of course, but I just want to see what I'm doing, just a small amount, like so, let's see, maybe five, yeah, and let's go here and Maybe add more contrast and let's see, vibrance, like so. Okay, let me see before and after. That's really nice. All right, and the next thing, let's sharp a little bit this image, Control or Command J to duplicate, go to filters, other, high pass. And let's zoom it to see. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Ah, it's enough. Maybe 0 0.8 or one pixel. Maybe one pixel. It's too much. Yeah, 0 0.8. All right, and put to, for example, linear light before and after. Let's see before and after. There is pretty big difference. All right, and that's it, guys. We are done with our image. I hope that you like this tutorial and you learned something new and when you're making your own photo manipulation, if you're making your own photos like backgrounds and shoot it yourself or your friends, you just need to pay attention on three things. You need to match the perspective of the background and of the model. You need to shoot them with the same lens, same focal length and you need to take care about the lights. You need to match the lights of the background and lights of the model and other props on the image to be the same from same direction same angles etc and you need to match the colors after you finish uh, with with uh, your composition you need to match the color of the background and model and other stuff on the scene okay if you have any questions at all please be free to ask them in the comment below and see you in the next tutorial bye bye